the light shark is able to send out OSC and UDP messages at the same time you play different cues. This is really powerful and gives you a lot of control opportunities to interface with other pieces of equipment and control them directly from your light shark. Let's dive in and in this video show you how to set them up and how to use them in your cues so that you can begin controlling other equipment with the light shark. First we'll head up to our menu and into our main menu. The MIDI tab has been renamed to Connectivity. And now we can go to OSC. The left half was existing. It's here to enable us to control the light shark from other devices. The action targets are new. We can have up to three devices that we can control via OSC or UDP commands. Press plus and you'll see the commands appear. If you do not see the commands appear, update your fixture library. If you've updated your Light Shark software and not the fixture library, you won't have these devices. Then come back. Perfect. You'll see a number of devices that you can use, including generic, in order to control other devices with the Light Shark. For this example, let's just choose MA Lighting and control an MA3 via OSC. Now we'll want to enter a valid IP address that is on your network and reachable by your light shark and the port that the MA3 or whatever device you're using is looking to control with OSC. Perfect. I'm also going to go ahead and as an example set up a generic device. We'll use generic OSC and again enter the IP address of the actual device. In this case because it's an example We'll just leave it blank, and the port will be the incoming OSC port on that device. This allows you to control any device that takes OSC or UDP commands, whether it's in the library or not. Now we can exit, and the fun begins. Go to any queue in your show. I'm going to go to this queue list. I'm going to scroll all the way to the right and see the actions column. If I hold down or press set and then press in that column, I can add an action. There are inbuilt actions, we'll go over those in another video, and the actions for the OSC devices that we've set up in our preferences. Now you can go ahead and when this Q1 is played, I could fire off an executor page per se, and maybe I go plus on page one. Now we have the option to test if we like and close when we're all set. It's highly recommended that you use the comments field to enter comments to remind yourself what actions you've created in this queue. It's not required, but it is recommended. Then when you go ahead and play that queue, it will fire off the OSC message, send it to the IP address that you set up in the settings, and send the message that is for that device in the library. Congratulations, you've just controlled another device with the Light Shark via OSC. Thanks for watching and thanks for using the Light Shark.